As you deploy workloads in Google Cloud, you need centralized visibility into the security posture and status of your environment. You need a way to surface vulnerabilities and malicious activity with clear ways to take action against them. Security Command Center is a built-in security management tool for Google Cloud Platform that helps you prevent, detect, and remediate vulnerabilities and threats. You can identify misconfigured virtual machines, containers, network, storage, and identity and access management policies, as well as web application vulnerabilities, and act on them before they damage your business. With Security Command Center, you can perform several security-related actions from a single centralized dashboard. Let's get started by completing three steps. Step one, set up Cloud IAM permissions. To get started, you need to ensure you have the correct permissions set up in Cloud IAM. These roles can be enabled from the GCP Console IAM and Admin page. To view the Security Command Center, you must have the Security Center Admin Viewer role. To make changes, you must have an appropriate editor role, like Security Center Admin Editor. To set up Security Command Center for the first time for your organization, you will need five roles, Organization Admin, Security Center Admin, Security Center Settings Admin, Security Admin, and Service Account Creator. Step two, choose services. Head to the console. In the left-hand panel, navigate to Security and then click Security Command Center. On the Organization drop-down list, select your organization. Note, if this is the first time your organization is using Security Command Center, you will be directed through a sign-up flow where you will choose your services. For organizations that have already completed the sign-up flow, you may review and refine your services from the UI. To do so, click on Add Security Sources to review and enable the services that Security Command Center will use to show you the security state of your resources. Our built-in services are Security Health Analytics, which can identify misconfigured virtual machines, containers, networks, storage, and identity and access management policies. The built-in capabilities in the standard tier include scans for high-severity misconfigurations, such as open storage buckets. When using Security Health Analytics in the Premium tier, you get scans for broader security misconfigurations, such as API keys needing to be rotated. In addition, you get compliance monitoring and security posture management against PCI DSS, CIS GCP 1.0, NIST 853, and ISO 27001 recommendations, among other security best practices. For premium users, there are additional services available. Web Security Scanner manage scan capabilities, which automatically detect new public-facing web applications deployed on Google Cloud and can detect vulnerabilities in those applications, including those from categories in the OWASP Top 10 such as cross-site scripting, use of clear text passwords, and outdated libraries. Event Threat Detection, which uses log data from inside your systems and watches your organization's cloud logging stream to detect threats like brute force SSH, cloud IAM abuse, malware, and data exfiltration. Container Threat Detection, which can detect some of the most common threats seen in containerized workloads running on GKE, such as adversaries dialing home with reverse shells or the execution of binaries and libraries that did not come from your secure build pipeline. You can also integrate with other services to have their findings surfaced in Security Command Center. Cloud Armor, which is a customizable service for protecting applications from DDoS or web attacks. Cloud Armor sends any allowed traffic spike and increasing deny ratio findings to Security Command Center. Data Loss Prevention, which shows storage buckets that contain sensitive and regulated data, integrates and surfaces its findings into Security Command Center. And partner solutions for many partners, such as Chef Automate, which can be integrated into Security Command Center and enabled here. You can enable or disable a service by clicking the toggle next to the service name. The services will be enabled at the organization level. Optionally, you can enable or disable your services for individual resources by navigating to the Resources tab. Click the drop down list in the Service column to select Service Enablement on a resource. Now, Security Command Center is ready to help you prevent, detect, and respond to threats. This leads up to step number three, view your dashboards. Security Command Center gives you a lot of flexibility to review the security state of your resources. Explore contains a directory of the dashboards, displays, and services available to you. On the Threats dashboard, you can review potentially harmful events in your organization's resources. These events are summarized by severity, category, and resource or project. The Threats dashboard displays results for the time period you specify in the drop-down list. Click through these items to see more detail on the specific findings. The Vulnerabilities dashboard displays Security Health Analytics findings and recommendations. The findings can be filtered to one or more projects and also by other characteristics such as category, severity, and or benchmarks. 
The recommendations column provides a summary of how to remediate the finding. More details on the finding can be viewed by clicking through. The compliance dashboard uses security health analytics and web security scanner detectors to monitor for violations against common compliance controls, which are part of various industry regimes, including CIS and PCI. While not a replacement for a compliance audit, it can be used to help you maintain your continuous compliance and catch violations early. You can filter by project and view or export reports of specific findings by compliance regime. If you'd like to export Security Command Center data, including assets and findings, you can find the Export button on the Assets or Finding tabs on the dashboard. You can also have event threat detection and container threat detection findings automatically logged to cloud logging. To enable, navigate to Settings and click on the Syncs tab where you can turn on this service. Congratulations, that's it! You're set up to start using Security Command Center.